Hi friends, in this video I'm going to show you how you can create beautiful mood boards like you see here. They are very simple and easy to create. You can use them as a dashboard or cover in your planner or you can also sell them in your shop as printables or physically as well. And how you will create these kinds of dashboards is by simply having an empty layout like this and then going to sticker mode, then to stickers and then adding the elements onto the template. Now, if you check out here, here is a new collection called Mockup Scene Creator. And here you will find uh, different kinds of vintage themed elements. So by clicking on them, they will appear here on the template. Then from here, you can drag them around like this. You can also add paper elements like this ones here. And then what I recommend you to do is just placing them uh, randomly on the template. By clicking up and down, you can also um, move them to the back or to the front like this. We also have flowers. Um, here are, some, for example, some flowers and there also are feathers and leaves and other kinds of elements. So you can randomly add them to your template and then once you're happy with the arrangement, what you can do next is open the image widget. So go to widget and then click on the online image widget. This will apply you a widget that looks like this. And then from here, you can insert your image. Now two things here. Um, you can either add your personal images. So if you already have images from your computer you would like to import into Planify Pro, you can do that by clicking on personal image. This widget will appear and in the settings you can scroll down to browse and then this will pull you up your um, folder from your computer and then from there you can import your images and then reselect it and it will apply themselves into the image like this. So this is how you can import um, personal images to Planify Pro. If you don't have any images, you can also visit unsplash.com. And here you have a big collection of different kinds of photography so you can also use commercially. So all images you see here can be used in your artwork and you can also sell the finished products without having to credit um, the person who took the photography. So from here, for example, if you want to create a mood board that is more ocean themed, you can, for example, search for the keyword ocean. And then if you see an image you like, you can click on it and then right click on the image, then click on copy image link, then go back to the website, select the widget and then in the setting, you want to paste in the image you just copied before. And by doing that, it will automatically apply you the image into the image widget like this. So from here, you can drag the image on top of the paper mockup like this. And that is all you need to do. Now, in this instance, for example, you see that the leaf is behind the photo. So what you can do is clicking on up or down. So in for this example, it would be clicking on up. Oh, sorry, clicking on down and it will bring the leaf to the top position like this. If you want to add a second image, click again on the online image, go to the website, uh, pick a photography you like, copy the image link, go back in the settings, paste the link and there you go. Now something else you can do is you can also resize the image so you can zoom in and out and you can also further um, align it uh, horizontally or you can also align it vertically like this. You can also adjust the opacity here, make it more transparent and these are the basic functions for creating mood boards. Now let me show you how you can recreate something that looks more like this one here with film strips and paper backgrounds as elements. 
So if you go back to the collections and if you check out mockup collection, you will see that all the elements I've used in this dashboard are available here. So you find different kinds of um, movie strips or paper elements. And then like before, you will place them on top of your planner, arrange them in an arrangement you like, and then you would add the images on top. Now in the third example, you see that you can also create mood boards that are very minimalistic and simple. So these don't require any graphics in the background. These are just image widgets added to the template. And you can create curved images by adjusting the corner radius up here. So let me give you an example. Let's go to widget and let's add a new online image widget. Let's go to Unsplash and maybe add uh, this image here. Copy the image link, paste it in the settings. So here it is. What you can do from here is you can place it anywhere. If you want to have uh, rounded corners, adjust the slider on top here on the top bar like this. So right like this. And what you can do as well is you can also add a white border um, around the image. So here under border color, select a new color, for example, white, and then adjust the border width slider menu here. And this is how you can add a a white border around your image. So what I usually do when creating mood boards is I first add the paper elements on top of the template and then I move them around until I like the arrangement like this. So let me quickly make one here. I think this looks good. And then what I would do from here is go to widget, add the online image, and then uh, place a random image into this widget. And then copying this image widget, so click on the upper left side up here, you can click on copy and then paste it. And then drag it to all the paper elements so I know how many images I will need for this mood board. One here and then two below here. And then what I would do from here is uh, decide on what kind of a theme I want this mood board to be. So let's maybe create a pastel mood board. So on Unsplash you can type in pastel or pastel colors. And then let's select maybe this one here, copy the image link and then place it into one of the image widgets. By the way, you can also move the images more to the right or to the left side like this. And then randomly pick uh, different kinds of images you think would look nice together. So let me quickly do that. So now I've added images into all the image widgets. Then from here, click on the image and then move them around so, so they are nicely placed within the paper elements like this. And then repeat this step for each uh, image widget. If you need to move them up or down, you can click on these two buttons up here and move them to a lower position like this. And then just make sure all the images are nicely placed into the widget. Okay, so now I've arranged all the images and then from here um, you can also add a few tapes like this. If you want to give the tapes a different color, 
you can scroll down in the settings and where you see the gray color dot, the last image in that row where it says custom, click on it. It will pull you up a color selection, which is different on every browser. So if you're not using Firefox, this might look different. Then from here, you can select a different color and you can also make it a bit more transparent like this. Then we could maybe add another tape up here, change the color maybe to purple and then add as many tapes as you want. So you don't have to add any tapes, but you can. So there we go. And then what you can do as well is you can also add a few color dots. So in the mocha collection, click on it. And then here you can add color dots and you can also place them anywhere on the template. So for example, down here or up here, maybe here. In the settings, if you want to change the colors, click where it says custom. This will pull you up the color selection. And then you can select new colors um, for that dot. A pink, then maybe a purple like this. And what you can do as well is you can also go to widgets, then text quotes widget. And then you can also add a text. In the settings, you have the option to filter for different kinds of quotes. So for example, if you want to add a quote related to learn, you can type in the keyword learn. And then all the quotes with the keyword learn um, will show up all down here below. Then you can select any quote and apply to the widget. If you click on this AA button up here, you will pull up the font collection and then here you can select a new font. And if you want, you can also add a second quote or a second text. So for example, you could also type in pastel, make it bigger maybe like this maybe rotate it and then add it like this here. And what you can do is you can also play around with the line vector. So here we have a line widget. You can extend it like this, make it bigger or smaller. Up here, you can increase the thickness of the line. Then you can also place it to any place on the template. You can also um, rotate it like this maybe add it to the sides and maybe create something that looks like this. And there we go. So this is how the finished uh, mood board looks like. It's more pastel themed, but of course you can also create other kinds of mood boards. If you want, you can also use pre-made templates like these ones here. All these templates are available on the hub page. So you can open up any mood board uh, you want and then you can insert your own images. So let me give you an example. Let's say you want to create a sky themed mood board. So let me search for sky, then copy the image link, select the graphic, then in the settings just paste the image link, choose another image, for example, this one here, copy image link, paste it into the other image and then choose the last image, uh, maybe, maybe this and paste it in here. And there you go. And there you go. Then you can also change the colors of these dots here in the settings. So you can click on it and select new colors. And this is how you will create mood boards from pre-existing templates. So this would be very fast. And I also recommend you to maybe use pre-made templates to save more time. As mentioned, all the mood boards here can be used commercially as is, or you can further customize them. 
If you have any questions, feel free to always message me on Instagram or Facebook and I will try to respond to your questions as quickly as I can. Bye!